Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, freaks and geeks, trolls and derps alike, welcome. I am Mullet Mike, bringing you Creepy Gaming. This is the show where we take a look at all kinds of creepy aspects in video game history. It could be Easter eggs, it could be scary locations, it could even be a creepy pasta or two. So, I just recently received this strange package in the mail containing two CDs, one of which really caught my eye. This is LSD Dream Emulator. Special st shout out to all these fine folks right here. Thank you very much. Keep those suggestions coming and keep them sticky. So, Without further ado, turn the lights down and the volume up as we journey into some creepy gaming. Where'd that envelope go? Oh, thank you. In 1998, a rare video game was released in Japan for the original PlayStation. The game was called LSD, or more commonly known as LSD Dream Emulator. The game has developed a cult following within the last couple of years due to its release online. The game itself was published by Asmic Ace Entertainment and designed by Osamu Sato. Some people may not know about this, but the LSD Dream Emulator was part of a bigger project based on Hiroko Nishikawa's Dream Journal. The game itself was one of three companion pieces, the other two being the official LSD soundtrack as well as a published version of the journal entitled Lovely Sweet Dream. Doesn't look so lovely to me. I mean, come on, does this look sweet to you? This is going to be a tough game to review, mainly because I've never played a game quite like this one. This title is all over the place. I mean, this game is fucked up. More than usual, you really do feel like you're tripping. But this isn't a good trip. Oh, no, 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 no. This is a bad trip. Ah, I'm freaking out. I can taste colors. Is, is that a sumo? What the fuck? LSD Dream Emulator is set in a first-person point of view in which you must navigate through different psychedelic dreamscapes. Your main objective is simple. Explore. You can transport to different dreamscapes by running into objects. The world is constantly changing. Even if you return to a place you've already been to, you may notice a few subtle changes such as different colors and texture patterns. The game is set up like a dream journal. Each dream is recorded by day. At the end of the day, your dream is rated by four different categories. Upper, downer, static, and dynamic. You can be a part of a psychedelic wonderland or be victim to a horrible nightmare. Sometimes the two even collide. This game is extremely random. You never know what you might run into. There is so much content and variables that the game almost never plays the same way twice. To me, that is one of the major creepy aspects of this game, is the uncertainty of what lies ahead. You could be in some peaceful village in daytime, just minding your own business, and then without notice be transported into some dark alleyway full of bloodied, dead bodies. You just never know what this game will throw at you. LSD Dream Emulator does a good job of making you feel alone. Yeah, sure, you'll run into a few people, creatures, and objects, but a lot of the time it's just you and your footsteps. And speaking of which, the sound design in this game helps create an eerie atmosphere. The sound of your footsteps depend on what it is you're stepping on. If you walk on these weird tiles, you'll hear some interesting sound effects. Okay. Okay, now that's now that that's enough. It's, 
it's getting annoying now. That's that's enough. All right, shut up. Just shut up. Just shut. Just fuck off. Just fuck off. The music in this game changes from dream to dream and ranges from something very upbeat in tempo to lower ambient sounds. For the most part, the dream sequences are pretty tame, but the nightmares or bad trips can get pretty intense. They're much darker in tone and feature some crazy visuals. It could be random dead bodies and pools of blood, faces on the walls, pterodactyls. Yes, pterodactyls. But probably the most disturbing of all has got to be the Shadow Man. Also known as the Gray Man, this enigmatic figure wears a long trench coat and will actually stalk you throughout your nightmares. Who does this guy think he is? The G-Man? After a while, you begin to train your eyes to look for him. Much like modern horror games, the anticipation of something popping up is almost more terrifying than the jump scare itself. That's a good way to describe this game. Tense anticipation. The Shadow Man does not have any kind of walking animation. He just continuously floats towards you, getting closer and closer. You feel like you can never truly outrun him. He'll just pop up somewhere else. This Shadow Man has been the subject of many creepypastas. And I could see him being partial inspiration for modern horror characters such as Slenderman. Here, let's take a look at a creepypasta based on LSD Dream Emulator. Mullet Mike presents to you Creepypasta Time. The Shadow Man comes to life and kills somebody. And this has been Creepypasta Time brought to you by Mullet Mike. As I've said before, this is a tough game to review. I could talk about it all day, but really, you'll just have to play it for yourself to get the full effect. This game will leave you with the burning question of, what the fuck? LSD Dream Emulator isn't so much in your face scary as it is a good old fashioned mind fuck. It will leave you with a weird feeling after you play it. This has got to be, in my own opinion, one of the most disturbing games I have ever played. And the reason the game is so disturbing is the element of trying to approach dreams with logic. It just can't be done. So there you have it. If you haven't played LSD Dream Emulator, I suggest you do so. It's, it's fucked up. Be sure to like and favorite for more creepy gaming. If you have thoughts, theories, or suggestions, then be sure to leave them in the comments below. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, at the Sticky Paddle. I think that's going to do it for me today, guys. I am Mullet Mike with the Sticky Paddle and Yow saying, what the fuck is that? <laughs>